Hi, this is Mrs. Shattuck, and I am excited to go over our Sporting Hill school-wide rules with you. We started with 17 delegates and had three mini conventions to create our rules. First, we began with the hopes and dreams for our entire school. My hopes and dreams for Sporting Hill is to, for everyone to have a smile on their face. For everybody to feel welcome and for everybody to feel safe. My hopes and dream is to be like a, a teamwork, to be a dream work. I think everyone should treat the property nice and be nice to one another. My dreams and hopes for Sporting Hill is for everybody to be themselves. All the kids smile and have a great day. My hopes and dream is everybody can be nice and helpful. My hopes and dreams for Sporting Hill is everybody to have fun and be kind. My hopes and dreams for Sporting Hill is that people clean up after themselves. My hopes and dreams are that there should no, not be any bullies and there should always be nice people. My hopes and dreams for Sporting Hill is that everyone is kind and it's just a great place to be. My hopes for Sporting Hill is for people and students to get along better. Okay, um, my hopes and dreams for this school is to have very good teachers and very nice teachers. I also want everyone to be smiling and stuff. My hopes and dreams are people working as a team. My hopes and dreams in Sporting Hill um, as I go into middle school is that um, everybody's kind to one another and everybody feels welcome to the school. Our delegates worked hard. They took 128 classroom rules and we looked at them and we made five school rules that as Sporting Hill Bulldogs, we are going to follow in all our areas. The first rule is be respectful of everyone and everything. We chose it as a school rule because we think it's really important to just don't like not being mean to anyone and just respecting everything you see and do. Everybody don't have to be mean, they have to be kind every time. The second rule our delegates came up with was be responsible and safe in all areas of our school. We chose this rule because like it means to um kind of work well with your materials and to be safe with them too. Like, I'm taking that from this. And also, like, just be responsible in general. Like, don't lose your papers, mm -hmm. okay? The third rule we're going to follow in all our common areas is be helpful and work as a team. We choose this rule because if we, like, work as a team, we'll have, like, fun. Mm -hmm. But if we don't work as a team, we'll be like sad and don't be happy. Um, if someone's just sitting by themselves and they want someone to play with, you could be helpful and go up to them and ask if they want to play. Be yourself. Be yourself is a fourth rule that our delegates came up with. Because if you be yourself, it can be better, but if you be someone else, you it wouldn't be as fun because then someone else might want to be like you, and school wouldn't like be fun because then everybody like might write the same and read the same, mm -hmm. and it might and it's just not going to be fun. You can be yourself, and it, school wouldn't be that boring. If we were all the same, it wouldn't be fun, and we want to share our difference, different differences with other with other people. Our fifth and final rule is always choose kindness. Always. We, we chose this rule: always choose kindness. Because
because it means no bullying and everybody can be happy because there's no um, bad attitude or bad feelings towards anyone. Um, and people will feel more happy and welcomed. Follow this quote, and I'm given, when given the choice between being right or kind, choose kind. Good job.